Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. I just want to show you how this is coming along because I keep stopping and playing with it and then I go do something else and I come back and play with it and it's going to be done and then you guys will never have seen any of it. <laughs> so anyway, I um, it's dry and I went ahead and sanded it with some sandpaper just a little bit to take, a, you know, kind of give it a little bit of tooth and then I've inked it with some permanent archival ink and coffee. And I also stamped some leaves, which are Tim Holtz uh, Falling Leaves, CMSO97. And um, so I just used the little one. And then I've also been using AOZA's stamps. I hope I'm saying her name right, but it's AOZA. And um, she sketched these images herself and then had them made into stamps and also Tim Holtz um, ledger script so I kind of did that all over and you can kind of see the leaves and like I'll, I just used the little poppy pods from AOZA on this one and then the script is just kind of here and there and I did <clears throat> go around with a little sponge and ink that all up too so I'm just it's still like a little bit tacky so I might um, seal it with like a spray seal so that I don't think this will come off because it's permanent but I just want to make sure that it stays on there. Then on the inside I just kind of did a little collage. This is just some ledger that I got at a um, yard sale. Let's see if I can find it. It looks like this and it was just in a little ledger book. And so I just inked it. And then this is an old book page. This is OZA stamp, um, some ledger that's been all inked. And then I did do one of these plastic pockets. And I know this isn't obviously, from, you know, from an old time period. But I, I was going to use try to do something like this with these old vellum pockets. But what won me over is the fact that it's completely see-through when there's nothing in it. So I'm like, forget it. I'm just putting the plastic down. I don't care. And um, I dripped a little coffee on here. This is old, or not old, it's just that craft paper. I tore it and got coffee on it and squished it around and stuff like that. So anyway, that's what you see behind there. And that's I just liked that, <clears throat> how it ended up looking kind of thing. So that's what I've done. Oh, and I uh, covered this whole inside with the green paper from Home Depot, the painter's um, paper. So and inked it. I have a little, this is some serious coffee dyed paper. I did this piece, I think this winter when I was baking them in the oven because it does make it a lot darker. Oh, I forgot to tear off this bottom edge. Let me do that real quick before I forget entirely. But anyway, so I stamped it with her um, AOZA's jackrabbit that she drew <coughs> or hair, however, whatever you want to say. And um, you know, just thought that would be kind of fun to put in this plastic pocket. And oh, I inked this pocket with the archival ink as well so that it looks yellow instead of just the clear, you know, so at least it looks aged even though it's obviously not time period. And then that picture is just some guys I found on New York Public Library. I think that was Walt Whitman or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, I just liked it. <laughs> So it's going in there, and then this is um, Tim Holtz, some of his, you know, one of his ephemera things. So I just inked that up, and I'm just kind of sticking that in there. So that's how that's going to be. And then um, <clears throat> I did the pages, and this is my old paper, volume 2 Digi. And then on the backs, I have, on some of them, it's my old, first old paper, just the regular old paper Digi and then you know just some lined paper and I tore it all down obviously to fit in here this is old paper digi and the first old paper digi so I'm using both of my old paper digis in this just to um, you know I just like the look of it so and this is coffee dyed or tea dyed paper that has like a lace kind of an imprint in it and lined paper old paper digi lined paper lined paper that's been coffee stained, tea stained. I keep saying coffee, but it's tea on this. Um, old paper, old paper, 
that's, that's volume two on both sides of that. I just printed it, you know. Sometimes I used the other one, sometimes I used the new one. And that's old paper volume two, and this is old paper volume two. So it's just a one signature because otherwise I'm worried it's not going to close, you know, because it, it just has this flap, and I um, need to get that need to figure out how I'm going to hold it closed. I haven't decided that part yet, but I thought it might be fun to put in one of these vellum pockets, even though it kills me a little bit because I'm tr I've been hoarding these. I got these, if you've been watching my channel for a long time, I got these out of um, a book about um, the Constitution, and it was all destroyed. It was from the high school, and so I took all these vellum pockets out, and this is real patina. I mean, that it's that's just the way it is. So I thought one of these might be kind of fun, and I just don't know which one, because I'm going to I'm gonna pull off the band-aid and use them. <laughs> so anyway, I thought it would be fun to put maybe like, this big one's probably the best one just because I can put more stuff in it. You know, I could put a postcard in there, and then maybe, I don't know, this and a picture of maybe it's his girlfriend or I don't know just put some fun things in there and then there's going to be another pocket here and another pocket here as you can see I did the little thumb hole so we also need to make some like journaling cards for those <clears throat> so I have some book page as well but I think I'm going to go ahead and go with this big one because I think the littler ones it'll stick out a lot. The only thing good about these is they're not going to take up as much room. You could come up higher. But I think I just really like the bigger one in there. Yep. I'll just come closer, a little bit closer to the spine maybe. And I kind of want to do something behind there too. So let's work on that. And I'll save these other ones. But yeah, that was sad. It was in... Um, my kids is high school and you know things just get unfortunately destroyed because people don't take good care of them so <clears throat> but I was very happy to end up with those I like this Western Union Telegraph Company thing up here I think I'll use that and this is my old paper digi volume 2 not the first one <coughs> hope everybody's having a nice weekend. I just have been kind of um, in and out all day and stuff and like I said every time I go by I think of something else I want to do to it and do a little something and I'm like I'm going to have the whole thing finished and nobody's even going to see what I how I did it or anything so I thought I better go ahead and turn on the camera before I do it anymore. <clears throat> and it's not going to be like pretty much these pages are probably going to be how they are just because it won't, isn't going to close if I make it too fat. So I think I'm going to try to just, you know, keep it pretty, pretty basic on the inside. Just not, it's not meant to be a super fancy one. Let's see. I don't even know how much I need. Um, right there. That's, that's the technical measuring I do. <laughs> Pretty great, right? Alright. I don't want this perfect, so I'm going to kind of do this sort of thing. Because it's not big enough for the whole thing. <clears throat> Sorry, I got a frog in my throat. Like usual, I think. I ate a piece of um, cheese, so that's probably what did it. help at all. 
So yeah, we don't have a whole lot um, happening this weekend. My daughter's practicing drum major stuff with the other friends that are also drum majors. <clears throat> and my son, hallelujah, finally found some contact lenses that are working for him. That's been a, a wow thing. I don't wear contacts, so I have no idea. I did wear the colored ones for a bit while I worked at an eye doctor's office, just you know, show people. I think I've said that before. Anyway, um, but I've never had to worry about the vision portion of it, so luckily I've been very fortunate that way till now when I need reading glasses, which I don't know what's worse. Um, I don't know why I put that there just now. <laughs> Maybe I'll come down here and see. Um, yeah, so I just really haven't had the need. I never knew that it could be so complicated. I guess it isn't for everybody, but it was for him to figure out, um, <clears throat> you know, what would work. Unfortunately, he about drove the eye doctor insane, I think. But what are you going to do? It's got to be right. Can't just, can't just not get it right. So I think I'm going to use this blue because I love this. This is actually an over a hundred year old book. Um, let me see if I put it in. <clears throat> it's this crazy book and it's, the pages are actually that blue. See that's the one I copied with the tape on there and everything. Crazy, crazy book. There's some purple pages in there too. It just doesn't seem possible that they would hold their color that long because I don't know if you have ever seen, um, I know that's different than um, construction paper, but construction paper loses its color so fast that I just, I'm amazed that that book has held its color as long as it has. Another really cool thing I think I mentioned is this portion of this is like, <clears throat> I got it off of, um, I think it was Biodiversity Heritage Library, and it's just all crumpled pieces of book page. <laughs> and I was amazed that they scanned it, but it looks really cool all the way it is. So anyways, I think I will put that piece right along here so you can see this. I like it. Let's tear this kind of diagonal this way. I can get some of that blue in here. I really like that. It's so pretty. <clears throat> Sorry, I know I'm probably driving crazy. Insane. <laughs> uh, it's not intentional, I swear. I just have the strangest reactions to the stuff sometimes. Other times I'm fine. I can eat cheese, whatever, not have any problem. But for some reason, sometimes it gets me. <clears throat> I just didn't really eat lunch and so I was getting kind of loopy so I'm like that I have like a piece of cheese or something <clears throat> I know you're not going to see a lot of this but we're going to try to get it Maybe if I tip it that way, I guess it's not really going to matter. <clears throat> if it could come over all the way to where this flap is, but the problem with that is the way that opens. So I'm just going to go right along that edge, I think. make sure that wasn't the ones I glued together. Get glue all up over the outside of them. And I 
next weekend. It will be crazy around here. You probably won't see me at all. We'll have lots of people around. Well, for us, lots of people. We're not um, super big entertainers, I'll tell you. <coughs> it's mostly me. I'm just kind of... Uh, I keep to myself pretty much. People pretty much have to ask. <laughs> That's not intentional. I just, I don't know. I think it's because I was raised by just my dad and um, we just didn't have a lot of people around and so I'm just not used to it. Like I just don't even know really what to do or how to do it or any of that. It's not like I don't like having friends and stuff around. I just forget and just don't do it. I think that'll work, but this definitely needs to get inked. Um, I need this. has lots of the natural patina on the vellum itself, but these edges aren't great. So the lucky person that gets this book will get one of these that I've been hoarding for months. <laughs> I don't know why I do that, it's so kooky. <clears throat> I think everybody kind of does it, but I'm bad about it. Let's use tacky glue and get that glued down really well. See, you can see <laughs> the book page on the back. Because they were stuck to these for sure. <clears throat> Could leave a pocket on the back, but I don't think I'm going to because, again, I don't want this to get too thick. I want to have so many tuck spots and things. It's already going to be enough once I get the um, cards made for the those pockets, the big pockets. <clears throat> so this ah, is not a super exciting video, but it, you know, just is part of the process of doing all this st crazy stuff that we do. And I really wasn't sure how I was going to do this one exactly because, as I said, I um, haven't done one like this before. So it's all an adventure together. I need to get a wipe because I'm just making a mess. Just making a mess. I really like the look of this though. I think it's fun. <clears throat> it's fun to do something different. Um, you know, we tend to do the more girly versions, I think, and a lot of that is just obviously because we're girls. But, um, and you know, people like it, but it's fun to do something a little more rustic. <clears throat> glue on that vellum. Oh, I got glue everywhere when I dropped that. My stamp pad. Okay. Hopefully that will stay down. If I had a brayer I would use it, but I do not. I never really got into anything where I needed a brayer. 
I mean, you can use them for things, but there wasn't anything specifically where I was like, oh, you know what I really need is a brayer. <clears throat> Great conversation. Aren't you glad you uh, hopped in today? <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm going to let that dry, and I think I'm going to put it under something because it's kind of just wanting to lift. Set a minute and I'll figure out what I'm going to put in there that's not imperative. Work on one of the pockets. I need to check size though. <clears throat> Four and a quarter. Four and a quarter by eight and three quarters, roughly. I'm going to do a little less, just because I want it sliding in and out easy. I don't want it to be... Um, you know, a pain to get it in and out. I'm going to cut this edge off so that it's even. And then we'll go four and a quarter. I probably should have made this journal um, a little bit. This isn't even either. Cut just a little bit off the top. Um, wider, like maybe not cut it down, like left it at tw um, 12 by 9. But because it is very narrow, and so a lot of the papers that I wanted to use from my old paper, I would have torn off you know, all the neat design. So that's always something to think about. But I do like that because it's more that traveler's notebook size. And it does seem like something that somebody could stick in a pack and go along. I did cut off a little more and I forgot to check what size that was. All right, get rid of this thing, all these pieces. Yeah, let's see what we're gonna put on here. Got this funny guy on a cigarette card. I love these cigarette cards, they crack me up. It's so funny that they those and packs of cigarettes and people like collected them and stuff. <laughs> I just find that interesting. I guess it's no different than like baseball cards or something and the fact that um, you know once you start a collection you want to get them all but it just seems like an odd and there's all different kinds. It's just funny to me. But I'm easily amused, I guess. Put this piece. I just like that blue a lot. And there's a little bit of dictionary page up there. So that's fun. <clears throat> So let me know if there's something in particular that you would like to see in digis coming up. Like, do you like this kind of look? Do you like, uh, you know, the 20s? I mean, you have to consider, I would love to do one on like the 50s sewing patterns or something, but that kind of stuff I can't really get a hold of because of copyright. So it, it obviously is going to have to be a little bit older of a style because that's 
all I can find. I don't know. Maybe there's some trick to all this that I don't know, but I am going to get a graphics fairy membership. I just haven't got that far, but because um, I know that's what lots of people use. I just haven't done that. Well, it's kind of, um, you know, another thing to pay for, and if you spend all your money <laughs> on that kind of stuff. It's just hard. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I can't just spend endless $20 here, $20 there, $20 everywhere. <clears throat> and I know a lot of people, other people can't either, so... But I think it'll help my little shop, so that I might try. But let me know. I'm going to try to do a Halloween one. That's also kind of hard to find stuff for, believe it or not. You'd think it would be easy, or at least I would think it would be easy, judging by the stuff that's always everywhere. But... I think this is fun for to have a masculine one for a change. I mean, you could definitely make it more um, feminine just by adding, you know, more of the roses or other flowers or whatever with it. Um, you could also print out the pages that don't have like these pictures on them and put floral pictures or whatever too. A little bit of glue right there. This is bugging me. So now there's a spot there instead. <laughs> Hopefully it'll dry. Barely, barely touched it. But I definitely like these because, um, I like having something to back things with, and these just seem to work really nice. That's nice. Because I see that's great. I think I have one of those already torn. I like the uh, postage stamp up there. Let's see. Tear a little off the top, a little off the bottom. I'm going to have to figure out how wide. Just talking to myself. <laughs> I'm not, I haven't decided yet if I want to stitch around these because um, I like to, you know, sometimes do stuff that we, I don't stitch for those people that don't so don't have a sewing machine or whatever. But I, I do like the look. So it's just going to be what strikes me when I finish this, basically. to use was that eco dyed piece of paper that I got from Melody because I think it would go really neat in this journal. Since I do not do that, I have not tackled that. My biggest problem is I really don't have anywhere I can get like rusty bits. I know that sounds crazy, but um, I just don't know anybody that would have anything like that. If I was still at home, and by home I mean where I grew up, um, what was I going to get? Oh. Then I would have that, but I don't have that here. 
Yeah, see, I think that would be really neat in there. I just don't know where exactly I want it, but I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, I think that's definitely going in there. Thank you, Melody. It's awesome. And it's fun when you get to use something. It's a little something down here. more old book page but there's no big enough piece. Oh I could use this some of this coffee dyed paper. <laughs> serious crunchy paper. Let's just do a strip of that for fun. Oh whoops wrong ruler what am I doing? <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Should, should never let me out on my own I'm telling you. Scary thing. Let's do a piece like that just for some added interest down there. And then we could also take a piece of that other book page and do that thing that I like to do because this is really fragile. It's like 1906 book page. I'll just kind of put lots of glue on it. Squish it up a little, squeeze it up a little, push it down. Oops, I just ripped it with my fingernail. Well, you know, just added a little more interest to it. Okay, so that just all got squished up. And it lays nice and flat when you do that. You push it all down. Alrighty, there's that. And then this needs something. I'm not sure what. Does it need a butterfly or a flower? Or is that weird with this guy? Let's see. Let's see what looks good. I do like the butterflies. Hmm. It's not big enough. I like the big ones on here. Monarch. Big monarch. Kind of like that one. I like that one. Hmm. 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 This is kind of cool. It makes him seem less serious. <laughs> of her but we already have a picture so we don't really need another picture flowers or butterfly flowers or butterfly see these are the dilemmas of life that make it too girly if I start doing that I think I like the butterfly I think I like the monarch butterfly what I'm going with. I do like the flowers, but I'm trying to keep this more masculine. Not that butterflies are hugely masculine either, but we're just going with it. Let's see, I like this washi. Oh, you know what else? I have Tim Holtz washi that has like letters. I kind of like that one. Let's ink the butterfly. I'm going to use the archival ink because this is kind of a shiny material that these Tim Holtz things are. And I want to make sure that it um, stays on there and doesn't just wipe off. So yeah, I would, I seriously, truly, honestly would love to know um, what kind of digis you guys would be interested in. And if I can find it, I will do it. No guarantees. <laughs> but I will try. Okay, if I can find the beginning. There we go. This one's pretty sticky, but I don't trust it. So, And it got my um, inky fingerprints all over it. 
think I want these up higher just because this is sort of blase up here. So let's do a couple of different ones. Ah, it's grabbing me. You know what else? I'll be right back. Okay, hi, I'm back. I just had to get grab some fabric and I had to dig it out and I didn't um, because I put it all away, you know. So I didn't want you to have to wait while I was digging for it. It's just a thin white, um, like a hanky type material. Cotton. Cotton. I'm going to cut this off because I don't want the pinking sheared edge. I just want the frayed edge. stamping a leaf on it and see what we do. And I may not need it at all because the butterfly just looks good on there. So let's just see. I don't want anything but the one leaf. I don't want two leaves or anything else. So I'm just wiping off this part where it got too much. Let's do it over to the side more. Oh, I think I just moved it. Well, we're going to find out, aren't we? And I do hold it on for a bit with fabric just because I want to make sure that it, um, you know, is on there. I don't like it. I love fall leaves regardless, so pretty much I'm easy sell on that. But I don't know if it'll work with the butterfly. Could do a smaller butterfly. <laughs> I know you guys are really ready to choke me, right? all inked but that's not a bad thing because I will ink them regardless I do not like that white edge it's either that or cut off the white edge one of the two I don't have any of this fabric like coffee stains so that works I think I like that. So I just have to put enough glue on here to hold down the piece of fabric. Oops. Kind of got it too far down, the glue on there. So this is the only dilemma with um, whatchamacallit digitals because the color wipes off when you wipe off the glue so no, 
now it's got fuzzies. Got carried away with the glue. Let's put the glue on the butterfly. Fabric is just tricky because you cannot always um, put the glue on it because it just wants to all gather together in a weird way. I like the way the strings are over here too. I can come back later too with an eraser if I need to, and that'll work as well. Okay, so there's that, and I think I am going to end up sewing around it. I know, I'm sorry, because I know some of you really don't, you just want it not stitched around, but I really think it adds something, and it's not that you have to do it, it's just I think I would like to do it, so. And if you don't like your stitch, then definitely go. And you won't have to worry about doing that. Okay, let's see how our book is faring after the whole book sitting on it thing. That's good. So see, this can go in here. And I'm not gonna do like any fabric things because obviously I don't really want them to stick out because it's gonna be, you know, have that flap over and like this. So. Clearly, that won't work. All right, so that's that. And then let's see, what should we put in here? Maybe this. This could just be a nice little journaling card, you know, to go in there. And I might cover the back of that with some paper, but you guys don't need to watch me do that. You've seen it. And I'll do that other um, journaling card too, and I'll show you when it's done. But you don't probably like, okay, we're done. We're done with you. A nice postcard. So put these in here so that you can see them. Maybe turn it this way. see her in there and the tulip soap I like the blue in here with the blue I think that works so that's the way that's gonna be and then we're almost to the point we could sew these in and I'll figure out how I'm gonna close it and I'll do the other card to go in here but we're moving along so this one's pretty quick this one is a good one if you um, just want to do a quick gift or um, you know whatever so that's awesome all right i will talk to you guys later if you like my videos please like and subscribe thank you so much for watching bye bye now